Mike Gray here with uh, Phil Siobhan of Social to SEO. Uh, I wanted to interview Phil today and talk to him a little bit about uh, his uh, new in beta product, uh, Social to SEO. Uh, it's an online platform. And uh, so, Phil, uh, I have a lot of clients that I help out with their online marketing, uh, help them develop strategy. We work on tools together. So how would uh, social to SEO benefit uh, my clients? It would increase their uh, social media presence. It would uh, expand their social media presence, uh, uh, usually without much effort. And it would also, uh, as it does that, it would increase their um, SEO presence. It would just increase their footprint in the search engine results. Um, and the final result is really to get more clients through the door. So uh, if you expand your social media presence and you if you expand your SEO footprint, you get more visibility. More visibility results in more calls. You know, correct. As long as your website correct. Uh, if we yeah, if we've done a good job of making a website that converts, that uh, people can pick up the call or fill out the form or order the products, uh, then uh, th this tool then is going to help people find the website. Yes. Uh, and uh, it should increase their uh, landing to their website. Exactly. And, and the, uh, the other side of it from the business standpoint is uh, what's the cost of acquisition of a new client? Mm. And so uh, social to SEO is a platform that reduces the cost of acquisition because if you use, if you use the services of, a, of an excellent social media strategist like Mr. Gray <laughs> 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 or a very good SEO agency, um, by using platforms such as uh, Social to SEO, uh, you would dramatically lower the cost and the effort necessary to expand this footprint that you need to have locally in the social networks and in Google. Oh, great, great. Uh, so, Phil, I, I I even talked to somebody this morning, and I keep reading a lot about social signals. Uh, can you really define uh, what is a social signal and uh, why do I want them? So social signals is, uh, is uh, anything from a light endorsement in social networks such as uh, likes, plus ones, to a, uh, a full endorsement like a comment. Uh, or an extraordinary endorsement like a share. Mm. Uh, it's a mention of you in somebody's profile or somebody's on somebody's timeline in the news feed um, in in the uh, the stream of Twitter it's it's just a social mention of your name or your business name which comes in the form of uh, plus ones like share tweets but also in the form of comments and uh, okay all right so uh, would uh, would probably the the more popular sites uh, you know top three top four be the ones that the signals would be most valued in? Yes, um, mostly Google+, Plus, uh, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, LinkedIn. Mm. LinkedIn because it's a professional tool, 200 million users mm -hmm. uh, worldwide. The, the, the advantage of uh, uh, using those four networks is like you cover most of the spectrum, except if you're in China, where none of this tool is, is live. Um, so um, again, what what is the great value again to my website uh, with a social signal? So what does a, a social signal add value? How does that apply? What does Google see that makes them want to send more people to my site? Okay, so basically, um, usually when you talk about social signal, you talk about having a Facebook like. That's just an action done by someone from Facebook towards another person in Facebook. So it's, it's kind of an ancestral relationship which stays in Facebook. Uh, likewise, if you uh, talk about like plus ones, plus ones are more general, but um, you are very often talking about one plus one going to another c uh, a post that you put in Google Plus, for instance. Um, the, the new thing with social to SEO is that we direct all these social signals to the website. We also uh -huh. direct it to the Google Plus account and to the Facebook account so Kay. that you can gain likes. Uh, but uh, we push the social signal to the website and to each 
single page of your website. Oh, okay. Which is a, a big thing which any SEO guy will tell you is that you can't just get uh, linking or uh, links uh, to your home page. You right. have to have a diversity because natural linking goes to specific topics. You know, you like mm -hmm. bird cages, you find this website and you like a particular model of bird cage on a website, you're gonna link if you have a blog for instance, you're gonna link to this page, not necessarily to the home page of the website. So uh so my secondary pages then are gonna be receiving the plus ones, the likes and the mentions, etc. Exactly. To to push the value of all of the pages. Exactly. What's the what's happening is that when your website receives links and social signals are just links in a way. Uh when your website receives links, then uh Google looks at it as a as topical and relevant for the category of products that uh, you or services that you offer. And so when you receive a lot of social signals, that's a lot of relevance and Google functions on the principle of relevance and authority. So the more social signals you receive, the wider your presence. And if those social signals are good quality, then uh, Google takes that into account and looks at your site, reevaluates. It's, it's not to say that uh, it's not a one for one, like you get a plus one and bam, your site you know goes up in page one of Google. It's uh, definitely not that. And Matt Cutts, the uh, spokesperson, uh, the web spam engineer <laughs> for Google, is very clear on that. You know, plus ones are just an indicator and he downplays it a little bit. You know, don't think that because you get a lot of plus ones, you're going to explode your ranking in Google. What we observed after many uh, months of testing is that a website that is relevant to the category and that receives a lot of plus one has a much better chance to reach page one and stay there than a website that does not receive that kind of signal. So you need a good structure in your website explaining, telling the public what you do in a clear way uh, that is conducive to what they would be putting into Google search. Yes, uh, that's you know the base of SEO still apply um, very much in full backlinking uh, still applies. Uh, what Social to SEO does it's uh, it allows business owners, local business owners, mm. to distribute social signals mm -hmm. uh, on the basis of a genuine conversation mm -hmm. uh, to uh, your website. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's say. Uh, you're a plumber and uh, you're part of a community, social to SEO community, where you have tons of uh, local businesses and they see your website. They see your website, so maybe they haven't found your website in Google, so they don't know your products, they don't know your service, they don't know what you carry. Now they're in social to SEO and they are looking at your website and they say, oh, I didn't know that this guy, this plumber here, was carrying that brand and that he was offering that service and he has this guarantee and these contracts and like it looks all cool. So maybe I should uh, definitely um, uh, check it out a little bit more with them. So the problem with uh, uh, with that is that, oh, I'm sorry, the, the beauty with that rather is that when you receive social signals from local businesses, you are much more likely to have this quality, you, the, 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 the signal that you receive is a high quality signal because it's all within the community and Google right. geo tracks. Right, yeah. so, so Google would recognize if I gave you uh, a like or a plus one that I'm in the community, I'm a prospective uh, a customer, and that is viewed as a more legitimate connection exactly. than if it was somebody in San Francisco uh, yes. connecting with your company. Yes, and that may happen that somebody in San Francisco goes to town and uh, you know in Tucson eats at the restaurant, co goes back to San Francisco and gives a like to the restaurant or a plus one to the restaurant. So this type of social signal is not necessarily discarded, but when you have um, a plumber, you know, receiving uh, likes from the Philippines and from India. Uh, or plus ones from the Philippines and, or India and, and you know the, Google sees through that and it sees the weak attempt at gaming their algorithm. They don't need plumbers in uh, India and... Uh, uh, they do, they're all <laughs> plumbers. <laughs> but local, <laughs> local ones, not, not ones from Tucson, Arizona. No, no, it's not going to be... One. Right. So, so the problem of, uh, here, the problem of social signals is that the quality of the signal is, is very important. Yeah. And what we observed is that we get good results 
with distributing the, si the signals to the website. Why? Because the signals are local. They're geo-tracked. Mm. Google knows exactly, okay, that's that's Michael. He's got an account with Google Plus. When he distributed a plus one, that's a valid plus one. Plus, Michael's an influencer. He's got lots of people. Uh, he's in lots of people's circles. So the more you are in uh, other people's circles, you know, it's like having 10,000 followers versus... 300,000 followers, you know, mm -hmm. you are an influencer or you're less of an influencer. Right. And so your social signal is very high quality when you are an influencer. So all this combines with the local aspects to push power to the website and increase the visibility on the website. One more thing, if Michael, you give me a plus one to my website, my website is going to be mentioned on your profile. So that means that your friends will have an opportunity to see it mm -hmm. or people you converse with. Yep. If, you, if you mention my website on your Twitter feed, uh, whoever follows you is going to have an opportunity to see what I do. So as a business owner, what matters is not so much the SEO. What matters is how many eyeballs <laughs> get in contact yeah. and how many clients call after that. Yeah. Right, absolutely. So, uh, Phil, how, do, how, does the, how does the platform work? Um, you know, I send my client to the site, they sign up. So how does this process work? So they sign up, they become users of social, of, uh, social to SEO, and basically what they have to do is just like check in, uh, look at the sites that are there, they select one site among the many there are, and they decide after they watch the site, after they, they see what does the the trade people, what the business owner, what this particular company does by visiting the website, by being in contact with what they do, they decide, okay, I'm going to I'm going to give a uh, plus one or I'm going to give a, a like or I'm going to tweet about it or I'm going to give a, a share in LinkedIn. So they have four possibilities for every single page of the website. Mm, okay. Um, and that's it. And they, they get points for that and when people get points that means that they contribute a lot to the community and therefore we have a hall of fame uh, for those people who contribute the most and the hall of fame is is a good place to be because those people who are in the hall of fame are showing more often mm -hmm. than the others if you don't participate as a member of uh, social to seo if you don't participate in the community you're not going to show very often if mm -hmm. you participate a lot and what I mean a lot, it's not like a time, it's a uh, social to SEO is bound to be a time saver, you know. So you, you have to spend only five minutes a day, maybe, maybe three to five minutes a day um, looking into social to SEO, giving some kudos, social kudos, you know, plus ones, likes, and so on, two of your businesses. And that's it. That's all you have okay. to do. So I think I got it in that... Uh, uh, when I go on and I give your company kudos and several to several others, I'm gaining points which pushes me up to the top of the leaderboard. Yes. Therefore, more and more and more businesses see my site yes. and are are giving the kudos back. The reciprocity kind of is playing out within the community. Absolutely, reciprocity is like uh, is a natural law, you know. So. We need reciprocity, and so if somebody do, does something good for you, uh, you will naturally tend to reciprocate. Mm -hmm. So social to SEO uh, shows you exactly what other people d did for you, like how many likes they gave you, how many plus ones, how many shares. So then you're free. You know, there's no mandatory thing. You know, it's, a, it's like you're free to give a like or plus one. Extra, and nobody forces you, but as a social being, you will tend to reciprocate. Absolutely, right, uh, right. That makes uh, a ton of sense. So uh, I, I think that really helps me with uh, how this will benefit my clients sure. and uh, how it's a product uh, without a ton of, ton of it, not a ton of time involved uh, that they can get involved, help other businesses, and in return have, have their own business and website help. Yeah, it's definitely you know, made to help the local community because when you contribute to other local businesses, they contribute back to you. That inflates, that increases the reach of the community, that increases the reach of the businesses who are a part of social to SEO. At the same time, you don't want to spend 30 minutes a day on social media. You don't have time to do that. If you're a business owner, you're busy. Five minutes a day is like way, is already way too much. You could spend three minutes a day or five minutes every other day and distribute enough social signals to receive a lot of social signals. You know, the more people in your community, the more social signals. But it's okay have. since we're in the business that we do, you know, eight hours a day on uh, social media. Yeah, us is different. <laughs> <laughs>
Because that's our job. That's what we do. It's actually social to SEO is throttled. You can't give any more than one or two or three likes a day. Right, because that would raise a red flag to Google. Anything that's extreme, yes, they're going to notice it, and it would be inappropriate that way. It would be inappropriate, and and other people would see, you know, like your your page, your Facebook page is like plastered with advertising for other people, you know, right, so that right. might turn off some of your guys, right, you know, right. so. We throttle this. Uh, you can distribute much more than three uh, shares or plus one or um, likes per day. You can distribute as many plus ones you want because Google is our favorite tool, really. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's true that Social to SEO, uh, because uh, you know I'm an SEO guy, and Social to SEO was designed for Google mm -hmm. and was designed to send Google to tell Google, hey, look, 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 my business is popular. Yeah. And and so we allow you, uh, social to SEO allows you to spend as much time as you want giving plus ones. We recommend that you don't give more than five social signals a day maximum, and that you don't spend more than five minutes on social media per right. day. Use the service of Michael. Yeah, to spend yes, the time yes. for you. <laughs> Let me spend that time for you so that you can go make money for your company. Yes. Exactly. This All right. The game. Well, Phil, thanks for uh, joining me here tonight. And uh, so, again, Mike Gray with Online Biz Smarts with uh, founder of Social to SEO, Mr. Phil Siobhan. Same so. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys.